Welcome to Johnny on Energy. I'm standing here next to an 80 gallon electric hot water tank. Yeah, that's a big one. And it definitely consumes a lot of energy. And what we're gonna talk about today is insulating your hot water pipes. As you can see here, this is actually the cold in coming into the tank, and this is the hot going out. And this one already is insulated with a polyethylene insulation. And that's what we're gonna show you quickly how to do, which is actually very easy and very cost effective. But first of all, why do you want to do this? Well, first of all, right here above the tank, it's actually the pipe can be quite warm. And then on top of that, you have a run that takes you from the tank all the way to wherever your shower, or bathroom, whatever it is. In the situation with this home, there's actually a 54 foot, three quarter inch pipe before you get to the master bedroom shower. What that means is there's five gallons of water sitting within that pipe that has to be pushed out before you actually get warm water. So it's that morning, you go to take your shower, you're waiting a few minutes before you get warm water coming out of there, and you've just put the first five gallons of water right down the drain and you haven't even stepped in the shower yet. So it's quite a big deal on saving on your water making it comfortable for you to get that uh, hot water there. And there's obviously other solutions that we'll talk about down the road with circulating pumps and so forth that can help you out there. All right, now in terms of insulation that we're gonna use is polyethylene. This is stuff you'll get at your normal home center. It's in the plumbing section, generally in these big cardboard boxes. And you can't see the full length of it here. I've got a couple long pieces sitting here to show you, but they come in six foot lengths. And like I said, they're both made out of polyethylene. There's a difference here. This one's just pre-split and it has no glue or adhesive in it. And you can't really see it, I don't think real well there, but that's a half inch opening. So it's for a half inch piece of copper. This one that I have here is a three quarter inch piece. As you can see there, it has a much bigger opening. It's for three quarter inch copper, but it's what they call uh, self-sealing. So it's already pre-glued with um, kind of like tape. You've got a plastic cover over here that you can pull off. So what I want to show you real quickly is, and let me give you an idea of the cost difference though, and you might be saying, wow, why would I get the one without the sealing? You can do that. You can seal the one that's just split up with electrical tape. Uh, you can do rubber cement inside of here. It's actually a lot of extra work. The one that's self-sealing in the same size range, this is about a $1 product. This is a $2 product. All right, in addition to the polyethylene, when you go to the home center, you're gonna see one other type of insulation, uh, pipe insulation. It's actually a rubberized insulation for HVCA, HVAC application. So it's more for your an air conditioning unit and it's rubberized. You'll know the difference. It's, it's uh, about $4 for a six foot length. So $1 for the unsealed, $2 for the self-sealing and $4 for a rubberized one, but you wouldn't be using that in this application. That really goes with your HVAC unit. Got a couple little props here to make this a little easier, uh, although overall it's pretty straightforward. And let me grab those. I've got a piece of uh, half inch copper pipe. This is the pre-split stuff, just a short piece of that. It's as easy as pushing it onto the pipe like that. You got it onto the pipe, you seal it up, you're gonna either glue that in there with a rubber cement, you could tape it with an electrical tape or other types of straps, and it's pretty straightforward. But the deal is, remember, you're gonna be putting this off on, you know, in six foot sections. So it's not as easy as I'm just gonna glue this little piece. It does save you a little money, but uh, the self-sealing makes a lot of sense. Let's take a look at one of those, and I just wanna show you a really quick trick. And by the way, you're gonna cut this stuff with a utility knife. It's extremely easy to cut through, so very straightforward. This is a three quarter inch piece of pipe. Exact same thing, but it's got the seal on it and you put that around. Now some people will go in here and make the mistake of peeling these off first. It's extremely sticky. So what you wanna do is bring it in just like that and have it all sealed in, and then just grab these pieces in there, pull them out, get rid of them, push that together, give it a squeeze there and let it seal, and now you've got a nice solid seal around that pipe. That's why it's worth the extra money to get the self-sealing. They're very easy to use. And it can make a big difference in terms of how uh, keeping that already heated hot water in those pipes warm, uh, both for the shower and for your energy savings overall. So as you're doing other things around the house, insulating hot water tanks and so forth, changing maybe to low, low flow shower heads, you can keep that water in the pipe warm and it'll definitely save you some money on your bill. And when I said it was inexpensive, we talked about a 54 foot length of three quarter inch piping. 
at the two dollars a foot it's going to cost about eighteen dollars to do that whole thing in the self ceiling so a very inexpensive product with a very quick return so thanks for visiting Johnny on Energy and look for some other tips. We got a lot more coming up, 52 tips across 52 weeks. Uh, we hope to see you back.